this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Today in this video, I am of course going to be joined by Esther, and I'm sorry Esther, I pushed you off your cake, I'm sorry, I'm... Wait, wait a minute, L Lee Bear? I just looked in the, the background, are you... Are you alright? Is this a new dance move? Is this the Lee Bear Shuffle? <laughs> um, yeah, it looks, it looks great. It's, uh, it's very impressive. I'm sure if you do that at a disco, you are going to get a lot of attention. <laughs> Let me go and have a go. Let me have a go trying to do the, the Lee Bear Shuffle. I think it's something like, something like this? Is, 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 is this it? Am I, am I doing it? Am I doing it okay? <laughs> I think I need to, to get a little bit more practice. I'm better at the uh, the Stampy Cat Shuffle, uh, where you do pretty much the same, but you go forward and left to right like that, and you've got to, you know, w wiggle the shoulders, wiggle the shoulders. It's all about the uh, the shoulders. <laughs> anyway, I have worked up an at uh, appetite by doing all of this dancing, and I am ready for my breakfast. And at the moment, we keep having our breakfast in different rooms, and Lieber... Uh, do you want to uh, to pick which room? Do you want to, to shuffle uh, to whatever room we're going to <laughs> be having breakfast in? Right, you do the, the Lee Bear shuffle, and I'll do the Stampy shuffle behind you, okay? <laughs> Hopefully he's um he's picked a, a room which is close by rather than one that's far away. Right, I need to shuffle up the stairs. This is very dangerous. Only shuffle up the stairs if you are a, a, a shuffle professional like we are. <laughs> Ooh, aha! We're going to have our breakfast inside of the... um. Yeah, the, the rather underwhelming guest room. <laughs> I really, at some point, need uh, to to make a, a bigger and better guest room than this, don't I? This uh, this just doesn't do. <laughs> Even though we have a, a nice little pretty face on the, the wall. Looks a little bit like Kevin. Anyway. Nom, 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 nom. Nom. There we go. And we'll leave one slice left for any guests that decide to stay. You know, sometimes they leave a, a mint on the pillow. In my house, we leave a slice of cake on the floor. Even better. Right. Let's go and uh, head over to the, uh, the love garden. I do not uh, want to forget about the, the love garden today. And that's because I am adding two people to it. So I don't want two people to, to be disappointed. And those two people are... James and Eliza. And the reason I'm adding James and Eliza is because they sent me this picture of a stampy cat face they made out of rocks and stones at the beach and they actually spent ages uh, getting different color stones uh, to make it so it can match up to the uh, the different colorings on my face and I think they did an absolutely uh, amazing po uh, job and they even wrote stampy in the the sand as well so I wanted to say uh, thank you very much for uh, making the uh, the face and sending me the uh, the picture and welcome to my love garden right then Lee Bear. in the last episode we raced to the the dog house on pigs and yes you have spotted it this time I have built a little um a little challenge for us a little bit of a, a jumpy jumps challenge so uh, what we need to do and then we need to jump our way up all of these half slabs. We then need to run across the uh, the roof uh, to the, the front of my house, uh, where you will see a, a little uh, pit of water at the uh, the front of the doghouse. You need to jump in the, the water. Uh, if you miss, you might hurt yourself a little bit. And then go into the doghouse. First person in the doghouse is the, the winner. <laughs> these are getting bigger and more complicated every day. Right then, Lee Bear. If we start about back here, you need to start off by jumping uh, through the uh, the big love heart. Are you ready? If you're ready, do the Lee Bear Shuffle. <laughs> that might be the, the challenge for the, the next video. You've got to do the, the shuffle all the way to the, the doghouse. Anyway, we will begin in three, two, one. Go, 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 go. So first you've got to run and get through the love heart. There we go, straight through. And now we've got the, the challenge of jumping up the slab. So I've got the lead. I don't want to rush too much. I'm going to go slow and steady and just try as hard as I can uh, to, to not fall off. Because it's when you go too fast uh, is when the, the challenge uh, starts to, to really become more of a challenge. Oh, I nearly fell off then, but I was just about able to, to make it to the, the top, uh, but I've not won yet. I now I need to try and uh, run across the, the roof and go into the, the puddle, uh, which is down here. Hopefully I won't miss it. Big run up, big run up, big run up, big run up. There we go. And straight in the water through the uh, the door of the, the dog house. And here they are. Here are all of my dogs. Here's the finishing line. And I have won. Yay. <laughs> I was the best at the jumpy jump challenge. I think that's the first time I've ever won in a game where you have to to try and jump up things. I'm not normally very good. Uh, but this does mean I am able to, to pick uh, which dog I was able to uh, to, to choose. And uh, Lee Bear, did you did you try and do the shuffle across the, the roof? Is that why you were slow? <laughs> uh, Lee Bear, he cannot control his shuffles. Right then, 
who shall I have joining me then? That's the big question. Let's go for... Oh, I can't decide. I can't decide. Uh, let's go for... Uh, Sherbet. 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 Where are you? Sherbet, you can join us. Where are you? Where's Sherbet? Sherbet, what are you doing on the top up here? Get down from there. <laughs> you need to come and uh, join us as we go to the shoe for you shoe shop. And in the last episode, we made some amazing progress. Oh, jump over the water. <laughs> yeah, we made some amazing progress and uh, did uh, the entire uh, outside of the, the shop. Uh, but this time, uh, we need to try and finish off the entire inside of the shop. And uh, this is always my favourite part. It's always good uh, once you build, like, the kind of the, the outer shell for the shop. Uh, because then you can kind of see how it's going to look in your lovely world. But in the inside is when we get to do all the, the fun things uh, and add in all of the, the extra details. And uh, this is going to be quite a fun shop. As I uh, uh, mentioned in the, the last episode, there's going to be some kind of shoe challenges or more shoe tests I guess is the the better word uh, to see uh, who's going to uh, have the the best shoes or at least uh, whether the the shoes you pick off the shelf are going to be good enough so uh, the first thing we need to do is we need uh, to sort out this floor it looks like uh, Lieber has got his shovel ready it's kind of covered in snow and dirt at the moment actually it's probably a good idea before we get rid of the dirt uh, to gather up all of the the snow because this snow is uh, always useful uh, to build things out of so we might as well uh, use the the shovel uh, to gather up the the snow uh, before we dig away the ground and then uh, we need to go and uh, dig the uh, the entire floor down uh, one block down and then the uh, the floor and it's going to be uh, actually brown wool. Although, to be fair, this uh, this shoe shop is going to be filled with so much stuff. Uh, you're not really going to be able to, to see much of the floor. But uh, the entire uh, style of the, the shop is supposed to be like some uh, smart brown shoes is, the, uh, is the, the plan. It looks like there's one redstone lamp hiding down here. I have no idea uh, how long that's been there or why it's there. But <laughs> looks like there's at some point I did some, some redstone here. And I will be, I'll be honest, uh, doing a little bit of a redstone and... In, uh, inside the shop uh, but not today not today that is a uh, uh, to come in the the future so uh, here we go we now have a, a, a nice blank canvas uh, we can go and fill in uh, all of the uh, the brown wall and we might as well uh, just fill the uh, the entire area in and uh, then we can go and start building everything else uh, that is going to be on top of it uh, so the first thing I need to build is where the uh, the actual shoes are going to be where you're uh, going to be able to, to buy the uh, the the shoes from and so I'm gonna actually have a whole load of shelves over here so uh, let me go and uh, first plonk down a crafting table and now I'm gonna put it like up here somewhere just so it's out the way and then that way I don't need to, to keep making millions of them and I'm gonna go and make myself uh, some birch wooden planks so I'm gonna make the planks into these half slabs and the reason I'm gonna use half slabs is because they will make a uh, quite good looking shelf so I'm gonna put in a, a few blocks here and then if I do along here, you can see they kind of uh, look a little bit uh, like shelves. And then we're then uh, going to be putting the, the shoes uh, on top of these shelves. And then I think about... Uh, here maybe I'm gonna do the the end and then this here is gonna be where the counter is the counter is gonna be uh, about yeah I think I think about this size will will do so uh, what there is gonna be uh, because there's gonna be two rows of shelves is there's gonna be a, a ladder uh, which is gonna allow you uh, to get to the the top row because if I put these shelves here uh, they wouldn't actually uh, work so if I put them there I wouldn't be able to fit the shoes in and if I did them underneath I wouldn't be able to put the shoes on top because we're actually uh, gonna be displaying all of the shoes in item frames uh, so rather than having them all in uh, chests or I guess shoe boxes <laughs> as it will be in this case uh, yeah we're gonna have all of the the shoes uh, out on uh, display uh, in all of these item frames so let me now go and put item frames uh, the whole way uh, along here I'm gonna have to, to leave a little bit of a gap there because I do have a dog in the way <laughs> and then I can go and make myself uh, a few um uh, a few ladders uh, as well and so I can now go and start placing these down I think I need uh, uh, a few more of these ladders uh, I think six uh, should be actually the the perfect amount yes yeah, I do one two three there and then one uh, two uh, three here and uh, then I can go and start putting the the item frames uh, on the the top up here as well and I can go and build them there the entire way along here like this and you can actually put them in the the corners as well which is quite cool like uh, most things uh, you can't put like directly facing each other like torches and things but item frames uh, you can which means we can absolutely pack uh, this place uh, full of these uh, these shoes and uh, and item frames and so now I guess the the next thing to do is to actually add in the shoes <laughs> and uh, so there's a few different ways you can make shoes um uh, I've got some what have I got I've got some iron on me so I can make uh, a few pairs of uh, stampy style shoes I'll make a few of them because uh, I can imagine that they would be uh, very popular and um I could also make some. I could also make some gold shoes. I've actually got some. Uh, some. Oh, 
uh, bear shoes. <laughs> well, bear shoes is just uh, no shoes on because that's just like bare feet. <laughs> Doesn't really make sense. All uh, right, let's go in here. Yes, yeah, so I got some some diamonds and some gold, so I can make uh, these into some shoes as well. So I'm only going to make one pair of diamond shoes uh, just because I'm actually really running out of diamonds at the moment. So I don't want to waste uh, any more. Uh, but I can make there we go. I can make three uh, pairs of these gold shoes. And so uh, let's go and uh, put all of these in a row along the top. I actually think I made this a little bit too big. I might make this a little bit shorter actually uh, just because I'm going to have the uh, the counter next to it and if it's taking up too much room uh, then the the counter as well as the the stock room uh, where all of the the other shoes are going to be uh, are going to be too small so let's break away these a little bit and uh, let's go and put down uh, these back down here and uh, I can't actually pick the the ladders up yet so let's go and uh, put down some of the the shoes first then so we can have some uh, gold ones nicely uh, along here and uh, let's go grab some iron ones as well and uh, we can put them along here so we can have gold to there and then these ones can be iron so these are all kind of like the the special ones like the uh, the gold diamond and uh, uh, and iron ones we can put uh, them down there I'm gonna obviously uh, need to get uh, a few more to put on the the end there uh, but what most of the shoes are gonna be made out of uh, is of course a leather and I had to get a, a whole load of leather before starting this video because I needed to make all the item frames and uh, now I need to go and uh, make uh, as many uh, of these shoes as I can so let's go and uh, make them all into to leather boots and what we can actually go and do is uh, dye them. So Lee Bear, if you come and give me a hand here, there's a few shores, uh, shoes on the floor you can grab there as well. And then I've got a, a whole load of these different dyes and uh, we can just try and dye them as many different colors uh, as we can. So let me go and uh, put my uh, stampy style boots uh, away for now. Let's actually just go and throw away some of these things that I don't need. I don't need these snowballs anymore <laughs> or these redstone torches. And uh, yeah, we can go and start dyeing these shoes. So there we go. I've got some, some nice red shoes there. And uh, actually, if I grab some uh, some red and some... Actually, if I grab two red, and if I grab some blue as well, uh, we can make some purple. And if I also mix some uh, red with some yellow, uh, we can make some orange as well. And so we basically want to make shoes, and there's uh, many different colours. And also, if we mix the, the bone meal with red and, um, and blue and things, we can make slightly different shades as well. So we want to make as many different colour uh, shoe uh, as we can. So uh, let me now go and uh, make some different colour dyes, uh, so we can make some orange, I think. Yep, and uh, we should also be able to, to make some purple. Uh, there we go. So I'm going to make some purple shoes here. Let's make them uh, really nice and purple. And we can make some nice orange ones uh, as well here. And Ali Bear, if I throw you these shoes, if you keep dyeing these uh, as many different colours as you can, and then we can go and put them away on the, the item frames. And uh, while he's doing that, I'm going to go and carry on building. And oh, look, there's some cake shoes up there. The best types of shoes. <laughs> I should just walk it around with cakes. I think that would be quite nice, actually. It'd be nice and nice and squishy. You could, like, squeeze all of the, the icing between your toes would feel quite nice, I think. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. Maybe I just like cake a little bit too much. Anyway, let's carry on building and let's go and uh, try and build the... um. Uh, the the counter uh, which is going to to be down here so uh, the stock room is going to be kind of behind this area here uh, so if we build this out a little bit to here I think uh, this uh, can be where the the actual counter is going to be uh, so on the end here I'm going to go and add in a a, a trap door uh, which you can uh, flap up if you want to go behind the the counter of course staff only not everyone can go behind there so if I go and place that there and then the the stock room uh, can be back here so we're actually going to go and build a a wall along here and I'll leave a gap about here for the uh, the doorway and then these walls are going to be built up so uh, behind this area is going to be the uh, the stock room uh, which is where it's going to be full of shoe boxes so you know they normally have the the shoes on display and then you say hmm can I try these in a size six please and then uh, the magical uh, shoe shop elves <laughs> go go behind into this magical room and uh, that is where uh, they grab all of the the shoes from so this is basically uh, going to be that magical room uh, just full of shoes basically <laughs> full of magical magical shoes all right so let's go and uh, fill this in here here's our little doorway and then behind here we're going to do kind of uh, the same we did before and uh, add in all of these uh, these shelves so I need to do them uh, the same as I did before and uh, we could probably just about uh, fit in three rows of these shelves and uh, then I'm also uh, going to, to need uh, to add in some more ladders uh, just so we can get to the, the top one. So let's go and make our, ourselves some ladders first. Uh, there we go. I've got nine. That should be more than enough of them. And then let's go and make myself some more uh, half slabs as well. And then if I make some of these uh, oak planks, I can make myself some chests as well. Sorry, not chests, shoe boxes. I need to start calling them by what they are in this place, which is, of course, shoe boxes. <laughs> so we can go back behind here and I'm going to go and put my ladders uh, along here. Uh, they can go uh, all the way up to the, the top up here. 
and then we can go and add in uh, all of our all of our shelves around here so uh, let's go and uh, put the the shelves so they go uh, all the way to the the end then i can just go up my ladder and i can place one two there and then we need one more row and it's going to need to be right here at the uh, the very very top so if i go and do it like that and uh, now I can go and start adding in my, my shoe boxes. So I'm going to kind of spread them out like this. I don't want any uh, double chests uh, because otherwise then uh, like it would just look way too big. You know, unless they've got clown shoes or flippers in there, <laughs> it might just look a, a little bit weird. And let's go and uh, add in a, a few torches on the way down as well, just so the, the place is lit up. So here we go. This is the uh, the shoe stock room, which we can uh, go and fill uh, in with shoes as well. So if you have, if you have uh, any spare shoes on you, Lee Bear, uh, you can go and put them away uh, in the uh, the shoe boxes down here. Uh, but right then, now it's time for the um, the the shoe tests that I've been talking about. Uh, actually, now one more thing I want to add in very quickly before we do that is uh, I need a, a bench. Of course, if you're going to be trying these shoes on, uh, you need a, a place to to be able to to sit down to to do so. So uh, let me go and uh, uh, make myself some. Um uh, yeah, some of these signs, and I can also make some steps, uh, so then I can just do a, a very simple bench uh, just down on the, the side down here. I guess I'll put it uh, around about here, I guess will be a, a good place for it to be, as if I go along here like this, and uh, along the, the other side, it kind of just about fits in okay here. Then if I go and put these on the, the side here in my uh, normal style of doing benches, uh, there we go, here's my little bench uh, that people can uh, sit on uh, to go and try their, their shoes on, all of these very bright multicolored shoes. <laughs> they look good! They look good all in a, in a row over there, don't they? All right then. So there's three tests I think that you need to test the shoes. Three important things that shoes need to be able to do. Firstly, they need to be able to look good. So I am going to go and build a catwalk. And so I'm going to do the, the catwalk uh, with um, a redstone lamp. So you see I've got some redstone and some glowstone on me. And so I need to, to make myself uh, some of these redstone lamps. And I think I'll do, uh, I think, eight of them if I have enough. Yep, uh, I can do eight of these. And we're going to do a little catwalk uh, down the, the back here. And uh, this is just to test how good the, the shoes look. So you can basically uh, walk along this catwalk and everyone can look at you and go, ooh, they look great or ooh, they look bad. <laughs> and uh, you can see whether they look good. And uh, something else that I think is uh, very important uh, for a, a shoe to be considered a good shoe is how good they are at jumping in puddles. I think one of the most important things uh, that shoes can do is to be able to, to jump into puddles. And so uh, after this, I'm going to build a diving board with a little puddle underneath. So it's kind of like extreme puddle jumping. <laughs> <laughs> so we can see uh, just how good uh, the shoes are at jumping in puddles. But first, uh, let's go and uh, add down uh, all of these here. And so you can see as you walk along the, the catwalk, uh, all of the uh, the lights light up as as you go. So Libe, what do you think of my of my stampy style boots? Do you think they look good? Of course they look good. <laughs> Actually, they're probably... um. They're probably a little bit smudged and uh, dirty at the moment from all of the, the digging we dig, uh, did earlier. <laughs> Maybe I could take them to the uh, the clean machine and uh, wash them a little bit later on. And, oh, oh, no, no, Lee Bear. No, I, I don't like the look of those shoes. I, th I think you need to, to try on a, a new pair. I think you should wear... What would look good with Lee Bear? Aha, let's try, let's try out some, some brown shoes, shall we? Let's see uh, how good these look uh, on you, Lee Bear. Do you want to go, do you want to go and try these ones on? See, uh, see what they're like? Uh, you can sit down on the, the little bench there. <laughs> Let me know if you need a, um, uh, you need uh, the little scoop thing that they use to put shoes on. Right, do you want to go and uh, walk down the, the catwalk now? And uh, I'll let you know uh, what I think, whether I think it's a, a good look or not. Tell you what, you can do the, the Lee Bear Shuffle <laughs> down the, the catwalk. And I'll see if it looks good. Oh, very nice. Very good. That's a, The brown shoes are very in this time of year, Lee Bear. Very good. <laughs> right then. Uh, that is only one of the, the tests, though. Because as I said, we also need to test how good the uh, the shoes are at jumping in puddles. <laughs> and so what we're going to do is build a, a little bit of a, a diving board. So let me go and make uh, even more of these ladders uh, going all the way up to the, the top here. And uh, we're then going to build a, a little bit of a, a diving board coming out here. I think this height uh, should be uh, okay for this. And then we can do a, a little hole in the uh, the ground about here. And uh, we're going to fill this full of water and pretend that it's a, a big puddle in the, the middle of the, the shop. So if I go and uh, fill this in here, uh, with some brown wool and then uh, I need to get some water actually let me go and uh, make myself a uh, an iron bucket and I can go and grab some water from from nearby and uh, then that way uh, we can go and fill up the uh, the little puddle so uh, where is the quickest water oh hello <laughs> I forgot about you Sherbet you've been very you've been very well behaved and whoa googlies haven't been well behaved run away oh no I'm more no more googlies oh no oh no oh no are you okay no don't hurt my dog do not hurt my dog there we go I should have heard it enough that my uh, sherbet can go and finish it off. Oh no, you're really hurting my dog. Leave my dog alone. Oh no, and a creeper. And a creeper. Not good. Not good. Fire the arrow. There we go. That was a good shot. 
<laughs> oh, dear, this uh, got a little bit dangerous. Um, Sherbert, are you okay? There we go. Have yourself some pork chops. That will cheer you up. I only came here to get a bucket of water. <laughs> right, let's go down to this uh, little cave down here. I might actually uh, have some some pork chops my myself as well. And uh, let's go and uh, head back in, and we can go and uh, uh, put in the uh, the water uh, for the puddle. Whoa! That's a creeper. That's a creeper. That's a creeper. Nicely done, Lee Bear. <laughs> right, let's go inside, and uh, let's go and uh, add in this uh, little puddle down here. So there we go. This is a, um, this is, as I said, quite extreme puddle jumping. Normally you wouldn't be jumping into a puddle from a diving board, but you can basically come up here and you can go and jump into the, the water and, uh, yeah, test out how good your shoes are at jumping in puddles. Of course, very important. <laughs> but there is, um, there is one more test. Uh, which I need to build, and we're going to be building it down here. But I won't be doing it in this video, because it's going to be uh, a little bit complicated, but it will be, uh, hopefully, really cool if it works. What I'm going to do is try and build a treadmill. And so I've never seen a, uh, a working treadmill in Minecraft before, but what I'm going to do is try and build a working treadmill, because, of course, shoes, their most important function is walking. <laughs> so, oh! and falling in puddles, of course. Yeah, it's walking. I think it's going to be very important to test how good uh, you can walk uh, around with the shoes without just having to take about five spaces. So uh, yeah, in the next episode, we're going to be finishing off the uh, the shop and uh, trying to build a working uh, treadmill, and we'll see uh, just how well that goes. But uh, before we end, do you want to go and test out your new shoes, Lee Bear? Do you want to go and see how good they are at jumping in puddles? Oh, he's going to jump off backwards and... Oh! <laughs> Slightly missed the puddle there. Ah oh dear. Yeah, so that is the uh, the end of this episode here. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. Of course, there'll be a link in the description to the next episode, which will be online soon. But for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!